my car ride. Today I'm in Yokohama, right next to Tokyo. Opened as a port town about 160 years ago, it's a place steeped in history, and in recent years, it's seen massive development and has become a major urban center. This time we'll be bringing you the program from the Yokohama Tram Museum, which introduces the history of trams in this constantly changing city. I'm with the museum director Hideaki Kitamura, who will be showing me around. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What kind of place is the Yokohama Tram Museum? This museum is where items and materials related to the Yokohama Tramway of the Yokohama City Transportation Bureau are stored and displayed. What kind of transportation is a tram? Let me show you in the tram car exhibition section. Mr. Kitamura, I see a number of tram cars here. Yes, here at the tram car exhibition section, we have six cars on display that you can actually go inside of. They were manufactured between 1928 and the 1950s. And is this the oldest? Yes, this one here is from 1928. The difference between trams and trains is that trams are trains that have been equipped to run on roads. I see. On the other hand, trains are made to run on dedicated rails. That's the biggest difference. Try stepping on the pedal at your feet. Okay. With it, operators made that ringing sound when people are on the tracks and a signal that the tram is starting to move or stopping. That ching sound is said to be why they were called Chin Chin trains. That's why it's the sound trams made. Yes, that's how they're fondly referred to by the citizens. This is the train diorama section. It recreates the atmosphere of Yokohama, and we have an O gauge diorama driving show five times a day of subway, railway, and JR trains. This is very cool. I've never seen a diorama this big. The multi-purpose section also has a tram simulator using computer graphics to recreate the streets of Yokohama in the 1960s. Here, visitors can get a realistic tram driving experience. What kind of section is this? This is the history exhibition section and it introduces the development of Yokohama's transportation system centered on trams. From the 1950s, it was the peak period for trams, with stops at 135 locations across the city, and about 300,000 passengers being carried daily. It was the most exciting time for trams. But with the spread of cars that came with rapid economic growth, traffic congestion became a big problem and in 1966, the city decided to start constructing subways and to phase out tramways, which it did in 1972. I'm sure if they had kept them running, even on a small scale, the atmosphere of Yokohama would be entirely different. I agree. Unfortunately, the Yokohama tramway is gone, but here at the Tram Museum, we hope to introduce people to the history and future of the development of Yokohama's transportation system. That would be wonderful. This time we brought you the program from the Yokohama Tram Museum, which introduces the history of trams in the development of Yokohama as a major urban center. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>